Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Demon's Souls Remake. This time, I'm going to show you how to open the gate at the beginning of the Gates of Boletaria in World 1, or Stage 1-1. One, one. In order to open this gate, you need to have either pure white or pure black world tendency. Now, if you're new to Demon's Souls, or you're just confused on what world tendency is, because it is a little confusing, I'll explain. Basically, your actions and the actions of all the players connected online in that particular world, so either Boletaria or Latria or Stonefang, but in this case we're going to focus on Boletaria, all of the actions of all the players influence the world. And if it goes pure white or towards white, I should say, then you're going to get less souls collected from enemies, they're going to drop less items, they're going to deal less damage, so things get a little bit easier at the cost of less rewards. If it goes towards black, you're gonna have special uh, black phantom invaders. Everything's gonna drop more souls, higher tendency for items to drop. Uh, things are gonna do more damage, so it gets harder. Now, if you wanna just control this yourself, just play offline. That is really the easiest way to do it. Now, because Demon Souls Remake is new, and it's only been out a couple days, things are skewing towards white, world tendency right now as opposed to black, but that could always change depending on what the player base does. So if you just want to get everything in the game and get all the trophies, I recommend playing offline for these portions of pushing towards white or black world tendency. Okay, so in order to get pure white world tendency, uh, we got to do a few things, but I'll cover the easy way to go pure black first. Basically, all you have to do is die in body form in the world. So just grab a stone of ephemeral eyes, reclaim your body form, die, and then that will push it one point towards black tendency. And things are rated on a scale of eight points. So it's plus three is pure white, and negative four is pure black. Plus one through negative two are neutral, and plus two is white, and negative three is black. So it's an eight point scale, plus three being pure white, negative four being pure black. So just die eight times in body form in a world, and then it'll go pure black. In order to get the world to change, you do need to leave. So you have to go to the Nexus and then go back to the world and then it'll update and the events will change. All right, so that's basically the easiest way to push a world towards pure black. I'm gonna push it towards pure white for Boletaria because that's just the way I like to play and I'm also going for everything in the game. So an easy way to help push it towards white is first and foremost, kill bosses. So in Boletaria, that's four points towards white right there. Playing in soul form means that you're never going to die in body form, so try to play in soul form as much as possible. And additionally, you can also kill the red and blue dragons that appear in 1-2 and 1-4. So, you know, chances are if you've killed the Tower Knight and Phalanx and, you know, not died in body form and things, you know, online are skewing towards white, chances are you just got to do one more thing and that'll push it all the way white. So what I do is I killed the red dragon on the bridge, um, on the Lord's Path, I think it's called. So basically for this, just grab like 150, 175 arrows and a longbow, and then just stand on top of the first lookout tower on the bridge, and just put on some good music, maybe a YouTube video, and then just keep shooting the dragon over and over and over. I think it has like 1400, 1500 health, and eventually it will die and you collect its soul automatically. So once you see the soul pop up in your inventory, you got it. So doing that will give it uh, give the world plus one towards white. So once you do that, just leave and come back and chances are the gate will open. The gate will only open if it's pure white or pure black. Through the gate, there's a bunch of treasure, including some uh, black phantom uh, scourge or draglings, you know, zombie dudes. So just kill them. Uh, inside of a little room, Executioner uh, Meralda is in there. So be very, very careful when going into this room here. She will laugh and giggle. You can hear her coming, but just fight her outside because the pit in this room will kill you. Once she's dead, you want to go back into the room and then you can take the ladder all the way down to get the brushwood set. This is really heavy. It weighs 58 pounds or 58 units. Luckily in the remake, you could just send things right to storage. There's no more you know, encumbrance problems. Uh, but there's also a colorless demon soul on the beam. Uh, so you got to very carefully drop down. I recommend not doing this with a bunch of souls because reaching the bottom without dying is really tough. I've never been able to do it. 
but just at the very least, make your way to the colorless demon soul and then just do what you gotta do to get out. But that's it, that's how you open the gate. Uh, the crystal lizards here seem to respawn a lot. I don't really know what causes that. Uh, I killed like four times, no joke. So if you wanna keep farming it, keep farming it until it, it you know goes away, but that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Demon Souls Remake, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.